Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for December 25th, 2020. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. And on behalf of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City, we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas. We hope you are all enjoying your Christmas Day celebrations. Let's remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. We thank the Lord Almighty for sending His Son to die for us so that we can have eternal hope in Him. And I also pray that even as we go into the study of his word today, as we are talking about the message of hope, which is the message of Christmas, I pray that hope will be renewed in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title for today on Christmas Day is A Message of Hope. A Message of Hope. And 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 is the memory verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And the Bible reading is Luke chapter 2 verse 6 to 7. Luke chapter 2, verse 6 to verse 7, and it reads, So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. May God bless the reading of his holy words in Jesus' name. Amen. A message of hope on this wonderful Christmas day. And what is the message of hope we are being taught today? You know, even like we just read, uh, we all know as, as believers that Christ was born in a manger. You know, he came into this world in what we could describe as an unusual way for a king, you know. Normally you would have expected that maybe Christ should have been born in a palace, you know, in something somewhere big, somewhere pal palatial, you know, but no, that was not the case of Jesus. He was born in a manger. And that is part of the message of hope we are being taught about today. Because the message of hope, the first part is the fact that greatness came out of a man manger. Greatness came out of a manger, which also means that you know we're supposed to have renewed hope as a result of the study of today and because of the message of Christmas. You know, it means that no matter how humble one's background is, this message of hope, the method that greatness could come out of a manger, it means that even no matter the background we have come from, we can also soar higher and higher. And we should have that hope renewed in us that we can soar higher irrespective of our background. You know, our daddy in the Lord gave a, 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 so many wonderful examples about this concerning his own personal life of how greatness can come out of a smaller background, you know, or a humble background. And what was the examples he gave? He mentioned the fact that he came from a family that was so poor. You know, he mentioned, he gave it in such a way that he even mentioned that even those that were poor are in their village, call them poor. That's to show you the, the, the extent of their own poverty in their family. He even gave an example of the fact that even to, to when the father bought an umbrella, just a basic umbrella, it was, it was celebrated in such a way because of the poverty they had. Wow, I did what an umbrella, you know, they celebrated so much. Something that to any other family would just assume as something normal. You know, he gave something, another example that he didn't wear shoes until he was 18 years old. And even the shoe he wore, 
when he was 18 years old, was borrowed. That's to show you the extent of poverty and the humble background that he came from. But we know our dad in the Lord now. The Lord God Almighty has blessed him so much. He's known all over the world. Whatever he wants to wait or wear now, he can. And that is the message of all for you and I too. That our tomorrow will be all right, no matter our current circumstances or our, or our past background. Our tomorrow will be all right because greatness came out of a manger. Even talk still in line with that greatness coming out of a manger. We know that Jesus came from the tribe, you know, from the place in Israel called Nazareth. You know, again, going back to the fact that if you will have assumed, like we mentioned earlier, that with the fact that Jesus was a king, you will have imagined that maybe he was going to come be born in a palace. Still in line with that, too, you will imagine that if Jesus, since Jesus was a king, maybe he should have come from the best tribe in Israel. But he came from the world we consider the lowliest place in Israel. Still talking about the humble background, the lowliest place called Nazareth. And that is also a message of hope that God does not discriminate against the lowly. That's another message of what we can draw from this Christmas story. The Lord Almighty does not discriminate against the lowly. No matter whether you are the lowliest tribe, whether we are from the lowliest family, or whatever it might be, this earth that greatness can still come out of such a place. And that is what happened. And based on this message of hope, that the fact that God does not discriminate, based on where you come from, based on your background, as we have seen, even in the examples that we have given, you know, God is now, uh, that in the Lord is now asking a question from you and I, that can anything good have come out of your family? You may be asking yourself that question, maybe based on your background, maybe based on where you live, maybe based on where you are brought up, you are asking, can greatness come out of my life? Can greatness come out of my family? Well, the answer is yes, based on the message of hope of this Christmas story. In respect of your background, where you come from, where you live, greatness can sure come out from your family. Because even like in the case of Nazareth, Nazareth that we mentioned, even though it was the lowliest place in Israel, greatness came out of Nazareth and became popular over the world. And that he has a prayer for us based on this message of hope that Christmas brings to us. He says, you will bring fame and blessings to your family in the name of Jesus. We say a big amen to that. Now, this message of hope, to make it practical, we also have to emulate the life of Jesus. So we cannot just say, yes, greatness is going to come, in respect of my background and where I live and all. But we must also make sure that we emulate the lifestyle of Jesus so that this, this hope, can be seen in our lives, that this hope can be put into action and put into reality in our lives, we must make sure that we emulate and copy Jesus. Because even, now, even in, the, in the world we live in, if you like somebody, if you look up on somebody, you want to emulate what they do so that it can be like them. So also, if we want this message of hope that Jesus Christ personified to be evident in our own lives, then we must make sure that we emulate what he, do, he, do, he does or what he did while he was here on earth. The way he acted, his lifestyle, we must do the things he did. We must avoid the things he didn't do. We must live the way Christ Jesus lived here on earth so that we, that message of hope that can become a reality in our own life. We must read all about him. Just like if you look up to somebody even in this world, you want to read biographies of the person. Well, the biography of Jesus is found in the Bible. So read all about him and emulate everything we see about Jesus, even in the Bible. Then we also can be assured of that greatness that comes as a result of Christmas. And may the Lord help us to do this in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you once again for sending your son, even to give us this eternal hope of salvation. And we pray that Lord God Almighty, we know that we need to copy you so that this message of hope can become a reality in our lives. Help us to emulate your very character of you, Lord Jesus, even while you are on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to live a lifestyle that is patterned after you and you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Thank you once again for this Christmas day. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Merry Christmas once again. And we hope you have a blessed Christmas. And we'll see you tomorrow by God's grace.